Guys, uh, so the 3090s, man, <clears throat> as hard enough as it may seem. Well, anyway, $340,000 worth of 3090s um, was stolen out of a mainland facility um, in China. Now, I have read on Tom's Hardware and this one, some uh, China, something news, and then another media um, three different stories one they were taken by an employee one they were taken by someone they don't know and then the other one is, is that they fell off the back of a truck um, so I don't really know which one to believe is although we do know that it was about 40 cases of RTX 3090s went missing um, they do believe that it was an inside job which naturally, of course, it was an inside job, duh. Um, they are having a, what do you call it, a reward. They do have a reward out. Um, the reward is 15,000 US dollars, uh, but for them it's like, you know, a million yen or some crazy number. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to read you what, what these people have to say. Uh, sometime last week, thieves stole a large number of NVIDIA-based RTX 39 graphics cards from MSI's factory in mainland China. The news comes from Twitter user GoFly8, who posted what appears to be the official MSI internal document about the theft this morning, along with a commentary from the Chinese website. Roughly translated, in other words... Run through Google Translate and with the NASA soul of a true... Wow, that's real broken English. The MSI document reads something like this. Recently, a high unit price display cards produced by the company have been stolen by criminals. The case has now been reported to the police at the same time. I also hope that all employees of the company will actively and truthfully report this case anyone providing information which solves the case will receive an award of a hundred thousand yen which is about fifteen thousand US dollars uh, let's see here the company promises to keep the identity of the whistleblower securely confidential so whoever turns them in or rats they're not going to give away the information if any person is involved in the case from the date of the public announcement report it to the company's audit department or the head of the conflicting department so they have an audit department and they have a conflicting department that's odd names um, I mean audit I understand that but conflicting I don't know if the report is truthful and the assist is in the recovery of the missing items the company will report to the police but request leniency the law should be dealt with seriously with the announcement I urge my colleagues to the professional and ethical and to be disciplined learn from the cases and be warned Wow okay uh, the reported value is correct we're talking about roughly 224 stolen GPUs. The cards might actually sell for considerably more since supply is low and demand is very high. Scalpers on eBay have reportedly gotten some legitimate bids of as high as $20,000 for a single RTX 3090, which typically, typically auctions off for about $2,600. Bucks. Well... So with that being said, um, I seriously think that it was definitely an inside job and they definitely had something uh, going on. Like it, it just 220 GPUs. Now for one, do you know how many people it would take to pick up 
that many GPUs, 40 boxes. How long would it take for you to break into the facility, take the boxes, and physically move all of that and transport it? Because you're not just going to load this up in the back of your minivan or in the back of your pickup truck. We're talking 220 of them. And they, they say it was about 40 cargo boxes. Um, this is Tom's hardware. The, this is what I originally read. In a sad turn of faith, 40 cargo boxes of the RTX 3090s were stolen from the MSI factory in China this morning, um, amounting to $336,500 worth of stolen graphics cards. MSI has notified the police regarding the matter and has, and has posted a reward of 100,000 yen, which is 15,000 in, in USDA money. For anyone who has useful information regarding the RTX 3090 cargo's whereabouts, MSI communications on the matter indicate that the factory's shipping area is covered by video, covered by video, video surveillance. The company also frequently inspects the trucks that come in and out of the campus. As a result, MSI believes an insider stole the cards. MSI offers clemency for any participant that steps forward, providing they help locate the stolen cards. <laughs> well, <clears throat> the person that stole them needs to move them. Because if he sits on them too long, the card will become irrelevant. It won't be the hottest thing, and he won't be able to get the money for him. But it doesn't matter. He stole them. Or they stole them. There's more than one person in on this. Unless there was just a truck sitting there full of them, and the person just hopped in and drove off. Which, I, I mean, I seriously doubt that. that, that there's, there's a lot more going on than what is actually being said but the bottom line is is that somebody stole um, 226 gpus that's 40 cases that's a lot man that's a lot well anyway check out my youtube channel guys make sure to subscribe leave a like do all that good stuff man i built custom computers um and i need more subscribers i need more viewers i need more of you so if you would like to check out my channel um maybe there is something you would like maybe you'll see something that you enjoy um but yeah we build custom computers water cooling a um, lot of diy stuff um, i show off like products and other things like that so it's definitely worth I'm checking out subscribing we're on facebook we have our own facebook group and page we're on patreon um, we're on Instagram and we're fixing to get our YouTube memberships and all that stuff set up. So you don't want to miss it. You definitely want to be a part of the family. And thank you for watching. And as always, you guys be cool. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, one more thing. Y'all be cool.